while the last of the Dodge muscle cars near the end of their glorious, tire-smoking, Hemi-powered production run, we're headed to a place in North Carolina where old Dodges get a second life. Next on Zero to 60 TV by LeapCars.com. Mike Darty is a championship drag racer competing along the East Coast and Midwest for over 50 years. You'll see him at various muscle car shows too, and he has a unique collection of classic Mopar metal on his family farm. Hey Mike. Mark. What's going on, man? Hey, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. So, you know, I met you uh, a few months ago in Aberdeen at our Leaf Dodge dealership during Cars and Coffee. Oh, yeah. Uh, you brought your beautiful, what, 1970? Yep, 1970 Challenger. Challenger, yeah, and uh, God, what do they, what do they call this, Hemi? The Hemi Orange, EV2 Hemi Orange. Now, can you give us a little, a little tour of this car and tell us what's, what's unique about it that you've done to it? Well, it was a Slant 6 car when I got it. So it had the weak suspension in the front and the rear and small rear end, small transmission. So I completely stripped the whole chassis, took everything out from under 70 GTX and put a K member, member under it. All the big suspension, disc brakes, the eight and three quarter rear end in it. And then I run across the new 392 Hemi and stuck in it. I know this car is inside now. The 2018 392 Hemi, it won't wreck. They just pulled the engine out to put a Hellcat engine in. So it's just a pull-out engine. What kind of power is this one putting out? I think the factory rating is 495. Mm -hmm. That's with the exhaust manifolds and all that on it. I've done a little bit to the engine and I've got headers on it. It's probably worth more with that engine than it was if it was perfect with a three nine with a slant six in it. And it's almost like uh, this is almost like the 1970 version of the 2019 Challenger that we brought down here because that's got the 3.6 V6, mm -hmm. which, you know, kind of back in the day, that yeah, slant, it was the base car. It was the base car, right? So the only option this car had was the high impact paint. It was manual steering, manual brakes, slant six, automatic, so nothing no, special about it. So no power steering in this? No, no, no power steering, no power brakes. Okay. And it still have power steering and power brakes. Now, I, like it, I like it all manual. Now you do have some, are those wider tires? Oh, they're a whole lot wider. So why do you have the wider tires back here? So those spins are bad. You know, everything's stock on here, but you got something going on with the tail light. That is not stock. What is that? Yeah, that's the, uh, the shut off for the battery. If you drag race, they, they will always want you to have a shut off for the battery in case you're having a problem on the line, the starter can cut the car off. Okay. Now, have you ever been in a uh, drag racing incident where something caught fire? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've exploded a few transmissions before and turned the piston loose. Well, Mike, can we take her out and see what she'll do? Oh, yeah, certainly. All right, let's it do it. It runs good. Do you feel like you're traveling back in time when you drive this? Oh, yeah, nice place. Makes me feel younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Well, she makes a sweet sound at full throttle. Oh, yeah. Or was that even full? Well, it's bright right at full. <laughs> yeah. the work on this car like how long have you been driving uh, a couple of years just two years okay mm -hmm. well mike what you got here that's my daytona my bobby isaac tribute car what is this tribute car you know based on uh billy eubank started building this car back in the mid 80s he said, well, I got a car right here I want, you to, I want to show you. And we started walking up the car and I seen the lightning bolts on the wing. 
I said, damn, that's one of Isaac's wings. He said, how do you know? I said, I know everything about Bobby Isaac. Mm. He said, he said, well, I got a car right here I want, you, I want to show you. OK, and it's based on what, a 69? 69 Daytona. How did a regular 69 Charger style body end up looking like this? The Chargers had a tunnel back glass in them, which created lift. Mm -hmm. And the cars were run about 100, you know, about 180, 85 mile an hour with a flat front end on it. Flat, all. yep. And Dodge said, we want to run 200. So they told the engineer, said, we want this car to run 200 mile an hour. So they got to checking and all that. They said, well, it's going to take 150 more horsepower to get to, to 15 mile an hour up to 200. Yeah. Said, or we can try to cut down wind resistance. Aerodynamics. The car had a 0.35 coefficient of drag. By the time they got it, the nose, the back glass, and the wing to the car, it was a 0.29 drag. They made the car slick. Got rid of that tunnel down. back. Yeah, got rid of the tunnel back. They, they added that. The nose. The pointed nose. And then the piece de resistance was yeah. this. Because that put 600 pounds on the brewery and running about 100 mile an hour. Of down force. It, yes, because it pushes straight down with the air pressure. All right, so this car, though, the way it's built, I mean, there's no roll cage in here. This really is this a, a street car. It's a street car. Back in that era of NASCAR, they took the stock body, oh, yeah. just put stripped a roll the cage. interior, yeah, put, put a roll, a roll cage, cage uh, racing fuel tank, and you were ready to go. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So when you're, when you're driving this car, uh, Mike, do you ever hear a voice that says, get out of the car now? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You know, I'm just joking with no, you. No, I know, I'm just I know, joking. I know. That's, that's part no, of the lore. That's part Look of it the, up. Yeah, Look it that's up. part of the lore <laughs> about Bobby Isaac. More about get Bobby. out of the car now. Yeah, yeah. All right, Mike, so what do we have here? Cotton Owens number 70 on the door. Yeah, it was a copy of, it was a replica of the car he built in, and won the 1953 Daytona race with it. And in 53, I guess this thing, they couldn't consider this type of car, this wasn't a stock car. Though. No, and it was modified. Okay, modified because of why? The the engine and all. See that engine, that engine that come out in 51. Mm -hmm. So they put the, the later model engines in there, the V8s with more horsepower, they could run multiple carburation. And exhaust. Uh, and and exhaust, they modified exhaust. Brakes. So what is the story of this actual car, like the actual car you got here because you know, it, you said it's a tribute. Yeah, to I wanted the, I wanted the actual body, but the actual body got crushed in the 70s. Okay. Told several people what I was doing, and I got up with Mr. Uh, one of my friends in Raleigh, and he said, I had the headers off that car. So I said, well, you know, if nothing else, I used flanges. So I brought them home after I got the engine set down in the chassis and moved it back as far as it would go. Stuck them up there, and they fit perfect. So you sourced the body from someone yeah, else? Yeah, it was a drag race body. I got you. Okay. It was all modified. And then what have you done to, to the interior now? If it was a drag racer, it didn't have much yeah, anyway. Yeah, I just did nothing. I just stripped it out. And... So it's got a pretty, uh, that's no, a it's sparse a, roll. I yeah, mean, that's a just, roll bar behind yeah, your seat. Yeah, just a, just a minimal roll bar in it. And then I guess you added a passenger seat for your yeah, wife. Yeah, put or, a passenger seat. Yeah, yeah somebody, somebody ride with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they use seats out of bombers or, you know, those come out of a school bus. Just something light. Uh, it, now, lightweight. it looks like you have a more modern race fuel tank. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to skimp on a fuel tank and run an old beer keg or something. I wanted to okay. that come out of a NASCAR truck series. You're a drag racer at heart for most of your life. We've been talking about these uh, stock cars and NASCAR, but what you got sitting in the garage there? A uh, 69 Super B. Well, I see the Super B uh, emblem on the front. Uh, so how have you got this thing set up? Well, it, it is a real Super B, so it had the heavy suspension on it and the good rear end and all when I got it. But uh, we built a stroker engine for it. We was running at the Pro Max Fashion Street Car Shootout with it. And uh, there's no engine rules. I wanted to look like a stock 383 car, but the engine's been bored and stroked. It's 512 inches now. Mm. And what kind, of, what kind of power is coming out of there? It's right at, you figure up on paper, it's right at 800. 800. <laughs> I was, was going to say 600, 800. Because uh, the car weighs, the car weighs 3,675 pounds. You figure the numbers up, what it takes to move that in a quarter mile in 9.9 .9 seconds. Mm. Mm. So here's the, few, here's the electrical shut off on this one. <laughs> Now, 
All right, Mike, you've shown us your collection of awesome Mopars, but I see a field over there. It looks like he's got a hundred Dodges and Chryslers in it. What do you call that? It looks like a graveyard on yeah, your Yeah, it's just old parts cars. Most of them we intercepted on our way to the Crusher. So I saved them from the jaws of the Crusher. So I guess, do you have people calling you up that have a project like Yeah, and we do a lot of trading parts and all that. And yeah, I use a lot of parts off the cars. So in a way, parts of those cars will live on. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's parts all over the country off them cars. And how about this one here? Oh yeah, the, the whole the whole run to get out from under this car came out from under a GTX out there. Came out of the, came out of the field. I yeah. love it. Well, Mike, thank you so much for having us yes, out sir. to the to the property today and yes, showing sir. us the collection. And man, I, I I definitely see why they call you the Hemi Man. Yes, and, sir. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at some of the stock car classics events. Oh yeah. Coming up this year when you bring your uh, Bobby Isaac car out, and then coming up to Raleigh to Wake County Speedway. Yep. All right, Mike. Thank you for having us out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And thank you for watching Zero to 60 TV. Now follow us on our social channels at leafcars.com. Give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Mark Arson for Zero to 60 TV by leafcars.com.